G'day everyone. Due to the popularity of my last video and many requests I've had, I wanted to do a follow up on some more of the features and benefits of the Garmin Overlander. So let's take a look. First off, I just wanted to take a look at the top five features. Number one, everything you need comes in the box. So you don't need any third party extras or cases or mounts to purchase before you can get going with the unit. So you can get it straight out of the box, plug it straight in, and it's working straight away. Second thing here is the magnetic attachment. It makes it really handy if you want to remove the unit so you can navigate if you're walking, or you can remove it straight out of the truck really easily if you want to update it. Third point is that the charging bay is included. The magnetic attachment that you'll see here is also a charging bay. So while it's in the cradle, it charges. Simple as that. And it's a tough and durable ram mount as well. So you can be guaranteed that it's not going anywhere. The fourth thing here you'll see is that we've got a rubber shell for impact resistance. This particular shell rates it for a four foot drop. And as you can see here, you've got easy access to on-road navigation and also for off-road navigation. Simple. Now we're rolling into the top five benefits. Number one, it's a standalone device, so you don't have to juggle screens to answer calls and texts or fast forward music if you're on your phone or tablet and potentially miss a turn while you're navigating. Number two, it's easy to use. Scrolling through different screens is so easy and it's not at all confusing. Number three, toggling between off-road and on-road navigation is easy. It's one click only, it's so simple. As you'll see here, just one click and you're in the off-road maps. And then another click back, you're in the on-road maps once again. Very, very simple. And number four, you've got multiple view modes when you're driving. For example, here you can see I can change to track up, north up, or 3D modes, or within one click right on the main screen. Really simple to do. Or if you want to as well, you can change your zoom in mode and that stays present for the whole time you're driving. Really simple, really easy to use. And then what might be the number one benefit to many people is voice command. Okay Garmin, find place, Brisbane, number three, number one, navigate. Simple as that, the track set. So if you're driving and don't have hands free, really, really simple. Amazing to use. It's one of the things I never realized that I actually wanted until I had it. Don't forget if you're getting some value from this video and my channel, to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share. I really do appreciate it. And now onto some of the bonus features. You've got a fully integrated campsite database here. You'll see on campsites from the main screen, the database here is from iOverlander and Ultimate Campsites and it's also got all state and national parks campsites on board as well. Really really simple to find and really really handy. Second of all, you've got plenty of storage. The unit itself has 64 gig included. As well as that, it also has a micro SD slot so you can store extra maps. You'll see here I'm not using an, X, an SD card, but I don't need to. I've got tons of maps loaded on there and I've still got seven and a half gig spare. Next of all, the ABC, Altitude Barometer and Compass. It's a simple press from the main screen. I can see what direction I'm heading, how high I am. Another thing that I use quite often is Track Recorder. Simple button from the main screen. You can see here you've got your distance, time, moving time, how long you've been stopped, etc. Just press the main button from the main screen and start. Simple as that. You're now tracking your route and really, really simple to do. You can then save the track here to Garmin Explore. Resume recording if you want or you can discard the track if you want also. Another thing which may be handy to some people as well is you've got possible integration, if you like, with rear view cameras from Garmin. So if you'd like to hook those up, it's a simple thing to do. Add a new camera from there, quite simple. 
Another function that this unit has, which may be really handy for people who four-wheel drive, is a pitch and roll thing here. So you can see where you are vertically and horizontally. It's not something that's necessary for people, but if you're a four-wheel driver and you do a lot of extreme four-wheel driving, it might be something that comes in really handy for you. If you are at all stuck and wanting to know how to use anything in particular on the unit as well, you've got something really handy here in that the owner's manual is stored on the unit itself. So if you need to know how to use something, you can really simply navigate as you can see I'm doing here. I can find out how to use the Garmin Explore part of the app. A couple of little hidden things as well. It's swiping left and right. Because it's an Android app, it's got really good functionality in this respect. So if I'm swiping left, there's some of the information I had from the altimeter, barometer, etc. earlier. But there's also a different screen here where I can start a route from this particular screen. And I've also got my calibration information for four-wheel driving as well. Other things that are a little bit hidden also is you can with Android apps as you usually do. You can close down all of the apps from a main screen if the unit happens to be running slow. I've had about 10 of the screens open and it hasn't been running slow at all yet, but just to let you know, it's one of the things that you can do as well. You can also swipe down from the top as you can see here. It currently tells me that I'm recording a location and also that OK Garmin is available. The voice activation is available, which I've just done there. And you can also see here that an update's available. So if I swipe back up, we're back where we started on the main screen. If you'd like to know a little bit more about how to create a route on the Garmin Overlander itself or on Garmin Explore the app, I've put a link for you in the top right hand side of your screen here. So in summary, is this for the average user? In a word, no. But it's brilliant. At anywhere between $800 and $1000 it's really expensive, but to be honest it's really based on what works for you. If you really love the ability to quickly attach and detach and use it when you're hiking, or if you love its simplicity and its one touch use for day to day navigation then it'll be a winner for you hands down. If you really get great use out of things like voice activated navigation, then again, yes, hands down, it's worth the money 10 times over. But if all that was a bit much, then by all means, keep using Google Maps. It's completely up to you. I hope this has given you a bit more insight into the Garmin Overlander and shown you a few of the reasons why I swear by this thing. Just to let you know as well, I have no affiliation with them at all and I purchased this myself and just wanted to share over time some compelling reasons why a device like this could become an integral part of your outdoor kit. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and most importantly share the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.